Okay. As long as you're next to you. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous all of a sudden. Okay, when does it start? It started. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my Aunt Tanya, and today she's going to let me do her makeup. So um, I decided that actually my mom came up with a really good idea to do like a mommy makeover. And my Aunt Tanya is a, is a vice principal. Um, I'm not going to tell you which school because that's creepy. Um, but she's a vice principal, <laughs> and she has three amazing little boys, and she's a hard worker, and she's very busy, so I'm going to teach you guys and all you little mamas how to do a quick little sleigh for work and, like, on the go, and so you can still, like, just, like, understand that you can still look good even if you have a busy day. So Tanya's going to be my little muse. You want to... Do you want to say anything, Tanya? I, th I think I look pretty good. Yeah, I, you, I mean, you look good. You look great. Yeah. She looks great, natural. Oh, we should share this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is me and my Aunt Tanya. Um, this is, I don't even know how long ago this was. I'm, gonna, I'm guessing I was like 10. No, I think you were even younger. Maybe younger, 7. Yeah. Um, um, she did my makeup. I wanted to be Christina Aguilera. I think that's what it was. Or Britney Spears. Yeah. One of those pop stars. Yeah. But she did my makeup. And uh, this was the beginning of our makeup journey, right here. And today, now, she did my makeup, and now I get to do hers. Yay! Yay. Full circle. Okay, so, um, we're going to jump right into the video now. Well, hello, guys. First, we're going to go in with the Maraud Moisturizer, and I'm going to dot this all over her face and blend it in. Taking the NYX Angel Veil Primer, I'm going to dot this all over her face as well and blend it in with the moisturizer. Then I dotted L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation all over her face and I'm going to be blending that in with a Real Techniques sponge. Um, but the color that I had was a little too light so I took my darker foundation and just put that all over on top of it and blended that in um, which um, it honestly looked a lot better than the, the my mix that I usually do, but we're sometimes the same skin tone, so I wasn't really sure what would work, but um, the darker foundation definitely did work out better for her skin tone than um, I thought it would. And uh, I just layered that on top, which it, it ended up looking good. And she has dry skin like me, so the dewiness of the foundation looked really good. She just uses mattifying foundations. Then I took the Maybelline Adrian White Concealer, which she freaking loved so much that she went to go buy it. And um, I just put that under her eye, her cupid's bow, her chin, down her nose, and her forehead. And um, just to bring some light to those areas and then blending it, blending it in again with the Real Techniques sponge. And we're blending, and we're blending. Then taking the Ben Nye Banana Powder, um, I'm putting this all over the places that I highlighted and just letting it settle there and bake a little bit. The yellow undertones of the banana powder work really good because she has a tanner skin tone than I do. And then I'm just going to dust it off and taking the Maybelline Better Skin Powder, I'm going to um, brush this all over her face to bring some color into her skin and just setting that foundation so it's not too dewy. Then taking the e.l.f. bronzer kit, I'm taking all the colors in the entire palette and I'm going to be contouring her cheekbones and also bronzing up her face. And um, honestly, she's never contoured her face before, so she was like super excited about this. Then I'm taking the Milani Luminoso blush and I'm just 
cutting it at the apples of her cheeks because she has really good apples and all the way up. Just giving her some color in her cheeks. Next, she's never filled in her brows, so I took the ABH Brow Definer in dark brown and filled in her brows, um, giving them a nice shape and some definition. Uh, she has great brows, and they're not too big, like they're not too full, and they're not too thin, so it definitely gave me a lot of uh, room to define them really nicely, and I think that in the end, it looked like really good. And I told her like she should start like filling in her eyebrows more, and so I told her she needed to get this or something that's a little deeper. Um, but I told her she should definitely take the time to fill in her brows because she has great brows. Next, I took the Sweet Peach palette and I took the shade Charmed, I'm sure. And I just smoked out the outer corner and then I took it into the crease. She loves brown tones. So um, I just stuck to the brown tone. She doesn't have a lot of time in the morning because she's a vice principal and has three boys and she's got to get to work. So I, just a quick eyeshadow look. So just the brown in her outer corner and her crease. And then I took the shade Luscious, also from the Sweet Peach palette. And I uh, took it on my finger because she doesn't really have any brushes. And I told her she can just take her finger and just put it all over her lid. And because she loves a shimmery lid as well. And I thought Luscious looked really good with the Charmed, I'm sure. And I just blending it all out together. Then taking Rimmel Scandal Eye Mascara, I am um, putting it on her lashes, giving them a fuller look. And the next part, you guys are going to laugh. Watch this. So I'm just like, she goes, no, I, I just... Mm. Yeah, actually, go just go, ah. Uh. Like, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, <laughs> like, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh. I'd be afraid. Is this red? No, it's chili. Chili? Yeah, that's what it's called. It's like a brown red. It's like brick red. That's the only way I could describe it. Is that right? Yes. I love her so much. She's so funny. Next, I'm taking the Physician's Formula Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to give her a nice wing on both sides um just to glam it up a little bit more i know it's probably not going to be easy for her to do it in the morning but i thought she would look great with a wing so I put that then uh she wasn't comfortable with me doing the eyeliner for her so she did it herself taking the estee lauder eyeliner and on it just smoking out that bottom line some browns in her crease and I did a shimmery little over she wanted a wing so I gave her a wing she doesn't wear bold lips so I gave her a bold lip um, I contoured her face and uh, she doesn't usually use like certain concealers so I use this new concealer now she can go get it mm -hmm. um, I use mm -hmm. a glowy foundation all over her face and uh, I use some blush to warm up her face and bronzer and um, we just gave her a smoky under eye and I filled in her brows and usually she doesn't do that so it, or do you I don't know I don't know I don't, yeah I don't think you do so uh -huh. I did and I defined them a little so yes this is the final look this is my aunt Tanya and I hope all you little mamas that are watching this are inspired to do your makeup because it's not that hard Take some time to yourself, look beautiful, you're beautiful. You can work hard, play hard, and look beautiful all at the same time, I promise. Okay, thank you, Auntie Tanya. Love you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! <laughs>